Hi my Taurus, it's Jamie Zebra 23. I'm doing your weekly spread for Taurus Sun, Moon, and Rising. I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out my website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are $25, $50, and $75. I typically do your readings within 24 to 72 hours. I also have a, um, a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your reading the same day. Um, I also have a $5 one question, one answer via email only. I've got kits for love, money, and protection. I've got pendulums, all sorts of prod, uh, products, um, and classes, and coaching, and all sorts of good stuff. I've got two pages to my website. So once you scroll down to the first page, click on second page, and you'll be able to see all the rest of the stuff. There's probably going to be like end up being like four pages because I've got a lot to offer. All right, guys, so this is what we've got. Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, you got the World card. You've got the Three of Wands. You've got the Devil card. You've got the Ace of Cups. You've got the Two of Wands. So with all of these cards here, guys, okay, obsessive energy. Somebody's obsessed with you, Taurus, or you're obsessed with somebody. There's uh, there's, um, there's so much obsession going on, it might even turn to violence. <clears throat> it's definitely something unhealthy. But what's good, Taurus, is I feel like whoever you're like directing this towards or whoever is directing it towards you, um, you you like it. You like it a lot. Um, no, 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 no. You like it a lot, Taurus. It's, you're not like bothered by it. It's kind of, it's kind of like a dysfunctional thing, but you can hang. Yeah. I mean, I don't, you know, like I tell everybody, there's nothing wrong with a dysfunctional relationship as long as everybody's monogamous and everybody loves each other. But that's just, that's just my opinion. So don't go out there looking for dysfunction, guys. Okay, Taurus? Or any cross watchers, don't be like Jamie Zebra said, dysfunction's cool. No. Okay. <laughs> okay, the world card here and then the three of wands. Some of you travel. Some of you are going to travel for leisure. Some of you are traveling for work. Um, some of you, just one second, guys. Oh, thank you. I got a flashlight. Okay. So yeah, so some of you are traveling. There's definitely travel going on. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, um, with this travel, it's I feel like it's well needed. You need a break. I feel like if, if a lot of you do get out of town, you'll be able to come back and be a better lover, a better, you know, worker, somebody better. So, you know, hopefully you won't get suspended this week, but if you do get suspended, look at it kind of like a blessing. You'd rather get suspended than fired, right? So try to keep your cool, try to uh, hold your temper this week. Also, there could be a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio trying to make you jealous, or you could be trying to make a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio jealous. Um, also, fire, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, there is one coming in for you. Um, this person could be a karmic relationship because do you see how the chains are tied here? So you definitely could have a karmic relationship either, either coming in or returning from the past. Also, with the Three of Wands here, your ships are definitely coming in. I feel like, um, I feel like with the Three of Wands here and the Ace of Cups, I feel like with these two things, whatever is coming in, it will make you very happy. It'll definitely fulfill you. Um, and then with the Two of Wands here, um, it's saying that it might not lead to marriage, but it will be something really nice. Hold on, guys, one second. You toys had to go into retirement okay so yes so with this um i feel like it might not lead to marriage but it'll definitely lead to like some really good sex or a really good experience a good fling um but there is no marriage possible especially if it has to do with a fire sign a sagittarius a leo or an aries but it will be an experience that you do not want to pass up and even if it doesn't lead to marriage i feel like for a lot of you this thing you'll um it'll definitely drag out um, and, and the reason for it not be, marriage not being possible could be an immigration thing or it could be that somebody's already currently married and can't track down the, um, the, the husband or the wife and they can't get a divorce. It's that kind of a situation or somebody just wants to like leave well enough alone or they might not get alimony anymore. Like it's, it's, it's like red tape. It's not because there is no love there. It's just because it's just, it's just not possible right now. All right, my Taurus, ta-ta for now.